Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome again to our weekly vlog. Uh, I'm going to start it this week with a couple of congratulations. Congratulations to two of our brethren who this week would have been receiving uh, their 50 year certificates and their 50 year lapel pin badges. Firstly, Malcolm Case, who's a mason up here in King's Court Lodge in Gillingham. He was actually initiated 50 years ago tomorrow on the 20th of April uh, into the Lodge of Innocence and Morality in Wiltshire but he became a joining member of King's Court Lodge. The second one, who was initiated almost the same day, but in fact the day after, on the 21st of April, is Worshipful Brother Michael Simpson, um, as I say, is a, a member of King's Court Lodge. Congratulations to them both. Uh, I would have liked to uh, have been present when they were presented, but because of the lockdown, they'll obviously be presented in due course. Following on from our DMC, uh, remarks last week concerning donations to food banks and the 18 food banks in Dorset. I've got to thank Worshipful Brother Barry Hobbs of, of the uh, trustees who has diligently carried out inquiries with each of the 18, 16 of whom he's found are very well funded already. So therefore none of your money needs to go there. What he has found and what the uh, trustees have agreed is that 750 pounds will go uh, as match funding with the donation from the Lodge of Benevolence to Sherbourne Food Bank and £500 will be a straight donation to the food bank at Wareham. Covid-19 relief chest. You'll have had a, a letter through from the Provincial Charity Steward earlier this week. Brethren, money's tight at the moment for some of us. This relief chest is available if you wish to and can afford to donate. It is not compulsory. But if you do, any donations that you make will count to your contribution towards the 2025 festival. Brethren, we've been in lockdown now for three weeks. We're entering our fourth week. Some of us may be feeling depressed, alone. Um, tensions may be running high with those that we love and we're locked down with in our family situations. Let me just say that mental illness or depression is not a visible illness. It can strike any one of us at any time. You can either talk to your friends, you can talk to the Provincial Almoner, or if you really want to be anonymous, then you can phone the Masonic Charitable Foundation helpline, the phone number of which is 0800 035 6090. That's their advice and support line. And they will then put you in touch with a phone number direct into a counsellor so your anonymity uh, will be maintained. Mental health or depression, whatever you want to call it, is a serious thing. My own experience is that you won't know how ill you were until you feel better. Brethren, this is a serious issue. Don't be frightened to ask for help. I certainly found it difficult, but with the patience and the help and the love of your family and of your friends, you can get through. I'm going to continue with this weekly vlog, but I'm sure many of you had questions about what we're doing, what the province is doing whilst we're in lockdown. If you've got those questions, then our provincial secretary will be writing to the secretary of every lodge with the links to this vlog, and he will advise you where to send your questions and then next week and subsequent weeks we'll devote a slot big or small to answering those questions my final message to you is the same as ever keep safe keep well keep smiling remember it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown so this is a way of exercising and getting rid of all those lines on your face that you only see when you look in the mirror and you don't like. Keep smiling, brethren. See you next week.